here, you see a rendering of our ambulatory facility. We now refer to it as Plum 2, uh, which means that there will be a naming opportunity for the building. Uh, the visit that will be located, as you see it, at the top of Plum Street. Uh, it will house several significant services, including cardiovascular, neurosciences, ENT, gastroenterology, as well as transplant. Um, we expect to occupy and treat patients there by the first quarter of 2025. We're incredibly excited about our new cancer hospital, which is the Jack and Cheryl Morris Cancer Center. It is a freestanding cancer hospital. It is $750 million uh, of an investment, uh, 12 stories, 520,000 square foot of space uh, for the care that will be delivered there. A very comprehensive approach for inpatient, outpatient, research, imaging, and all of the support services that accommodate that. 84 infusion bays, 74 exam rooms, and you get the, the picture of how expansive and comprehensive the programs will be there. As part of the commitment, and we had to respond uh, and chose to respond, I should uh, be mindful of my, my words, chose to respond to what is a need within the community. As such, there was a $55 million investment for the elementary school at 50 Jersey Avenue, which has been funded by Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health. Uh, the land was donated by the chairman of our board, Mr. Jack Morris. It is going to be absolutely state-of-the-art uh, as a learning environment. Uh, it will also have their first outdoor uh, play space, and we anticipate that that will be ready for completion and students to be there uh, in the fall.